Welcome to a special episode of Furniture Industry News, where we dive into the latest trends and insights to help you stay successful in the ever-changing world of furniture retail. Today, we're going to explore something a bit outside the box, what's being called the YOLO economy. YOLO, or you only live once, has evolved from a simple catchphrase into a full-blown economic phenomenon that's influencing how people spend their money. And this shift in consumer behavior has big implications for furniture retailers. So what exactly is the YOLO economy and why should we, as furniture professionals, pay attention to it? At its core, the YOLO economy is driven by a cultural shift that's all about living in the moment, instead of saving for the future or focusing on long-term investments. Many consumers, especially younger ones, are prioritizing experiences and immediate gratification. This is a direct response to the uncertainties brought on by the pandemic, inflation, and economic instability. People are spending more on things that make them happy now, rather than worrying about what might come later. What does this mean for the furniture business? Well, it's simple. Consumers are still buying, but they're doing it differently. Instead of saving up for years for that perfect piece of furniture, they're more likely to purchase high-quality items that enhance their daily lives right away. And here's where things get even more interesting. This YOLO economy isn't just about luxury vacations or gourmet dining experiences. People are also willing to invest in products that make their home life more comfortable and enjoyable. In fact, many customers are looking at furniture purchases as part of a larger lifestyle upgrade. Whether it's a luxurious sectional for their living room or a high-end dining table for hosting gatherings, furniture plays a central role in creating the experiences they crave. One of the key aspects driving this shift in spending is the rise of Buy Now Pay Later services, or BNPL. These services allow consumers to spread out payments over time without the high interest rates that come with credit cards. BNPL is becoming incredibly popular, especially among younger consumers who are looking for flexibility. By 2030, the BNPL market could grow to an estimated $3.7 trillion, and that's something furniture retailers can't afford to ignore. Offering flexible payment options like BNPL makes it easier for customers to justify buying that big-ticket furniture item today, rather than waiting years to save up for it. Now let's talk about the emotional side of furniture shopping in the YOLO economy. We've always known that buying furniture is about more than just practicality. It's about how a piece makes someone feel in their space. But in this new economy, the emotional connection is stronger than ever. People want furniture that brings them comfort, joy, and a sense of fulfillment right now. They're looking for pieces that will be part of their daily routines, their family moments, and their personal relaxation time. And this means that as furniture professionals, we need to focus not just on selling products, but on selling experiences. Imagine someone walking into your store looking for a couch. Instead of highlighting just the durability or price, you could paint a picture of what their life will be like with that couch. A place where they'll unwind after a long day, host movie nights with friends, or simply relax with a good book. That's the kind of emotional connection that resonates with today's consumers, especially in the YOLO economy. It's also important to recognize the economic impacts of this new spending behavior. YOLO consumers are diverting their money away from traditional savings and investments, which means they're willing to spend more now, but they may not be as financially stable in the long term. This creates both opportunities and risks for furniture retailers. On the one hand, you can capture more sales from consumers looking to upgrade their living spaces. On the other hand, there could be challenges ahead if consumer spending declines due to financial instability. That's why it's crucial to adapt your business strategies now to meet these immediate demands while keeping an eye on the future. One way to stay ahead in this new environment is by embracing data. In the YOLO economy, consumer preferences are changing rapidly, and the businesses that thrive are the ones that can stay agile and respond to these shifts. Data-driven insights are essential for understanding what your customers want today and what they might want tomorrow. For example, by analyzing online browsing behavior, social media activity, and in-store purchases, you can get a clearer picture of consumer trends. Are your customers gravitating towards minimalist, multifunctional furniture? Or are they more interested in bold statement pieces? Knowing these details can help you fine-tune your inventory and marketing strategies to meet their evolving needs. And speaking of marketing, personalization is key. Today's consumers expect a tailored experience, and if you're not giving them that, you're missing out. Use customer data to create personalized recommendations and promotions that resonate with individual tastes and lifestyles. For instance, if you know a customer has been browsing outdoor furniture, you could send them a targeted offer on that perfect patio set 
or invite them to a special in-store event showcasing outdoor living solutions. This level of engagement not only boosts sales, but also builds loyalty, which is critical in a market driven by immediate gratification. So what should you, as a furniture retailer, do to capitalize on this YOLO economy? First, make sure your payment options are as flexible as possible. Offering services like BNPL can remove barriers to purchase and make it easier for customers to choose quality furniture without feeling the financial pinch all at once. Second, focus on selling the experience, not just the product. Connect with your customers on an emotional level by showing them how your furniture can enhance their everyday lives. And finally, use data to drive your decisions. Whether it's choosing the right inventory, creating personalized marketing campaigns, or predicting future trends, Data is the key to staying competitive in this fast-changing market. The YOLO economy is a powerful force, and it's not going away anytime soon. People are living in the moment, and they want their purchases to reflect that. As furniture professionals, we have an incredible opportunity to tap into this mindset by offering products and experiences that align with today's consumer values. By staying flexible, embracing technology, and focusing on the emotional connection that furniture provides, we can thrive in this new economy. That's all for today's special episode of Furniture Industry News. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this episode helpful, make sure to subscribe and leave us a review. We'll be back soon with more tips and insights to keep you ahead in the furniture game. Until next time, take care and stay ahead of the curve.